Yeah, I had a question about um, the correlation between having a heavy amount of seed oils in your diet and getting sunburns. And generally, how long should you try to be off of seed oils in order to start exposing yourself more to, to sunlight without um, getting any skin damage? Mm. I love this question, Jamie. Thank you very much for asking it. As the listeners can see on the show, I am a ginger from the northwest of England who had a pretty terrible time with sun throughout my childhood when we would go on family holidays and vacations to Spain, a um, lot of sunburn. And it's been very interesting for me to unpack this topic and learn sensible sun exposure and how an animal-based diet can really influence it. But I'm just curious, Jamie, is this something you struggle with frequently? You know, if you take a vacation or you go down to the beach in the summer, do you find that you get sunburned quite easily? What's the story there? So I don't get sunburn too easily, but um, I definitely have to put sunblock on. I, I have like Irish background and English background. So um, yeah, it's definitely something I have to worry about. And yeah. obviously like all the time I'll get, have my like, family members and friends like say that you have to put on sunblock and, and you do, but um, I know that there is <clears throat> uh there's some disadvantages to wearing sunblock. Yeah. Um, like spraying certain chemicals on your skin. Yeah, and you've got it, man. So I, we would we would we would kind of push back a little bit and say that you don't necessarily need to go right towards the sunblock for some of the you know things you just started to allude to. They they obviously have fragrances and some pretty you know inflammatory toxic um, chemicals that can leach into the skin. There's plenty of studies showing that this is you know a, a thing that actually happens now. I mean our our skin is the largest organ on our body and our body absorbs what we put on the skin. Um, so we want to basically deprioritize that as much as possible. If we do need to go down that route, there are safer natural alternatives, things like zinc-based uh, mineral sunscreens. But what we'd always try to do first is prioritize kind of building up our solar callus and sensible sun exposure, ramping up with the seasons, but also combining it with this magical ingredient of an animal-based diet and really zooming in on this thing that you started with, which is what's the seed oil story in this sunburn story? And the reason, again, I, I, I really like speaking about this topic is I used to get sunburn very easily for a long time, but all, my, my diet was the standard Western diet. You know, I was basically built off grains and seed oils and I couldn't be in the sun for more than 15 minutes uncovered without turning beet red and, you know, the peely shoulders and the whole story. Now, what's very interesting now coming full circle is I travel quite a lot for, you know, various reasons, retreats. And I was just in Mexico for my brother's wedding and the entire trip out there didn't need to put sunscreen on once and would be spending hours outside per day. But it's because I've built up this tolerance to the sun and it's because I've removed these seed oils from the diet. You've got to think about the chemical structure of seed oils. And when we say seed oils, we're thinking of things that are very common in our, you know, modern food structure, canola oils, corn, soybean oil, et cetera, that's in our packaged foods and what restaurants cook with. And you got to remember that we kind of, we are what we eat, right? We're built on the building blocks of what we put in our mouths. And these linoleic acid rich, polyunsaturated omega-6 rich um, fats and oils are very prone to oxidation. Uh, they, they degrade quite quickly in the presence of heat, light, and oxygen. And if you think about that, I mean, it's, it's pretty much being outside. We're, we're under you know, intense UV rays. And our, our fat cells are just under the layer of the skin. They become, can become oxidized very, very easily. So they're not very stable. Um, they're very susceptible to damage and that radiation from the sun, which is why removing them, and you said like how long and how much do we recommend removing them? Well, we want you to remove them completely from the diet as much as you possibly can forever because they don't do anything for your health. They are actually one of the biggest drivers of our chronic health epidemic. So if we get those out of the diet and we replace them with the fats that come from nature and our animal-based fats, which are much more safe, they're much more um, structured. They they have a, a much higher resilience to heat and oxidation. The saturated fats that come from animals like butter and ghee and tallow, 
these are a much more sensible fats to include in the diet from a metabolic health standpoint, but also a protection standpoint from exposure to the sun. And if you combine that animal-based principle of removing these things that potentially or probably do make you more susceptible to uh, sun damage from radiation from UV rays, and then slowly start to ramp up to build your solar callus, you have an evolutionary consistent approach to sun exposure. Because if you think about our ancestors for a second, they didn't go from a, a massively indoor lifestyle and then go and fly to Mexico to then try and sit out in the sun for six hours and get an intense sunburn. They were always outside. So they were ramping up their sun exposure as we entered into the spring. And by the time it was peak summer where the UV index was an eight, nine, 10, or even 11 and 12 in tropical regions and climates, they had this ability to build up slowly. They, they kind of titrated with the sun. Using an exercise analogy, it would be like expecting to bring somebody into the gym and get them to back squat 225 on their first session. It's not realistic and you're gonna hurt people. But that's kind of what we do with sun. A lot of us live 80% of our lives, 90% of our lives inside under artificial lights. And then we go, you know, it's the summer and we go to the beach and we get burned. And we blame the sun and we say, you know, sunburn is terrible, which it is. It can cause damage, but it's not necessarily the sun. It's our lack of exposure sensible to the sun. And then we cake on these toxic sunscreens on top of all of that because we've got this, you know, diet that's high in polyunsaturated fats. And we've kind of got this perfect recipe for sunburn and free radicals and oxidative stress. So I would encourage you to slowly ramp up as the seasons change. Of course, you're in New York and it's the winter right now. So, you know, there, there are things you could do, but basically as we start to enter into the spring it's spend as much time as you can outdoors and at that point you'll have a good amount of months under your belt on an animal-based diet and just start slowly I, I i really recommend downloading um the app it's called d minder like vitamin d uh, d minder and it will tell you it will use your location and it will tell you the uv index and it will even give you some sensible sun exposure tips based on your skin tone and the amount of clothes that you are or are not wearing it might say you have 20 minutes of safe sp sun exposure today and after that time frame is up don't necessarily then reach for the sunscreen but maybe put on a wide brimmed hat maybe put on a long sleeve shirt and protect yourself from the sun with safer ways uh, than just layering on those sunscreens and in extreme circumstances where you cannot do that maybe you're out fishing and you're going to be out for hours and hours on end then you need to go for sunscreen options then opt for more natural mineral based sunscreens like a, a, a zinc or something like that i think that combination of building up your solar callus fixing and, and building your diet on an animal based diet with a removal and focus on getting rid of those seed oils and then sensible sun exposure using some cool technology like dminder you're going to have a great summer and you can navigate through hold a tent and not get sunburned at all and that's kind of what we want right so uh, i hope that's helpful jamie uh, thanks for calling into the show hello friends if you enjoyed that clip then you can watch the entire thing by heading to this link over here or you can find us wherever you find podcasts by searching radical health radio if there's value here please hit that like button let us know in a comment what your biggest takeaway was and hit subscribe support the show as we support you we'll see you soon